Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to Kind of Funny Games. My name is Colin Moriarty. This is the illustrious Nick Scarpino. Nick. Yo. A game just dropped on PlayStation 4 in the Pixel Junk series, the celebrated Pixel Junk series. Its name is Nom Nom Galaxy. Nom Nom. And I wanted to play it with you to see what you think of it. Uh, so far I'm loving it because this, this beat is hot. It is. It is a hot beat. There's no doubt about it. Now the Pixel Junk series has been going on for a long time. It is basically PlayStation, PlayStation centric. The beauty is, is that Q Games, the developer, always makes a different game. None mm -hmm. of the Pixel Junk games, with the exceptions of the direct sequels, like Shooter, for instance, are ever the same as any other game. That all makes sense. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. Pixel Junk, of course, didn't make this game by themselves, though. They did it with, uh, well, Q, uh, I'm sorry, Q Games, rather, is the developer, a Japanese developer, uh, that makes the Pixel Junk games. But they okay. did it with Double Eleven, which is, a, a, I believe, a British studio, and they're responsible for porting a lot of the older Pixel Junk games to PS4 and Vita. So got they kind of got involved at the ground floor, mostly, I would assume, because Q Games is busy with another PlayStation 4 exclusive called The Tomorrow Children, which should come out this year. So usually we try to get deeper into a game before I show it to you, but because this game is fucking bizarre, yeah. I think the best way to do it is to play the first stage with you. Okay. And maybe we'll go beyond that, but, but the first stage is... Uh, um, beyond. Thank you for that, Greg. The first stage is basically a tutorial stage, and okay. it explains how strange this game is. Now, at its core, Nick, Nom Nom Galaxy is about making soup. Okay. Did our and Winnebago just crash? Our, our space Winnebago just crashed. And so we're going to be working our way through, and, and I feel like this is the, uh, the best way to kind of explain the game. Okay. The idea of the game is to make soup on alien planets and control the market share of that particular planet's soup manufacturer. Got it. That's is what the idea of the game is. the currency of this universe? No, there's a different currency. Soup is what everyone wants, though. Everyone wants Wa the soup. People want to spend their currency on the soup. That so, makes sense. So right now we're going, and all I'm doing right now is using the left analog stick and the X button to jump around here. But the game will get a little more complicated. For instance, this is oxygen, and you're going to learn here that you need to get oxygen in an astro suit. So you find little pockets of bubbles like this. Okay, and it refills our oxygen. And what we're looking for right now is the buzzsaw. And the buzzsaw buzz saw is going to allow ready. us, when we pick it up, to go through not the brown rock, like the regolith or whatever, but the green The lush greenery. Exactly. Got it. Um, and the soup factory, as our, as our droid here let us know, is nearby. So now I'm using the right stick. Mm to use the buzzsaw buzz as I use the left stick to now, kind of Now, I have around. to do this for anyone uh, who is a fan of this particular movie. Buzzsaw's ready. Yes, thank you. Whoa. You didn't like that? Great. Boom saw's ready. Uh, there you that's go, that's a, that's a little You're right, yeah. you're right, I'm sorry. When you're right, you're right. You're right, Greg. He's paying attention. So buzzsaw's ready. So, so as I go through this area, I'm picking out the, uh, the little currency that we're going to need, which are these little blue diamonds. Okay. You can see here, if I just kind of keep going, using my buzzsaw, you can find them like right here. And I'm collecting them right now. I have 1,100, and we're going to need those in a little while. we got to be careful, though, as we're going to see in a minute, because if I get too, a little too overzealous with buzzsawing, I can create devastating... Uh, Effects. Well, de devastating, like, rock falls and things of this nature. Oh, uh, okay. But here I'm going to use ladder. I'm going to use matter, which is the currency, to make ladders. And I'm going to go up here and stand on top of it. And then press up on the D-pad. And I'm going to okay. spend a little bit of currency to be able to do that. So you're going to so need the currency get to all those times. areas. Exactly. Because it's the right thing to do. And now I'm, it is the right thing to do. And I know that you are a man that appreciates doing the right thing. I'll tell you what the right thing is. Mm. is say it one more time. Buzzsaw is ready. Isn't it bone saw? Yes. You're just doing it to annoy me. <laughs> At first I was wrong. But now I'm just trying to drive the joke into the ground. Oh, okay, fair and enough. And annoy Greg. It has a double... Hashtag smash the dunce. Hashtag smash the dunce. <laughs> Hashtag kill the worst. Kevin. So here we're gonna see a little little like landslide oh, action. You see, like oh, we no. gotta get, get out of there. Get out of there before it. Damn. All right. So now we're at the soup manufacturer. Oh, the fun. training factory only has the bare essentials, but it's missing a few vital parts according to our droid. Naturally. And so we're gonna need to find some things. You have to replace the destroyed machines in quarters so the factory can start making soup. So basically, this is our soup factory. Okay. But it's in, in ill repair right now. Our robots can't do the job, Nick. Okay. So we have to do a few things, and one of those things right now is going over here where the arrow is, yeah. and then pressing triangle, and we're gonna need a soup machine. Um, and we can afford it, so we're gonna put it there, press X, and, and then place it where it needs to go, and then we're gonna press X and it's gonna build itself. Now, here's the deal, I want you to just, let's take a second okay. to appreciate. I don't understand anything you've said so mm. far. That's fine. Okay. I just, okay, we can continue. Are you ready to go? 100%. Okay. So. Now we're gonna go over here, we're gonna press triangle, and, and we need a super rocket. Okay. Because once we, like any like any good capitalist, mm -hmm. once we create the goods, we need to find a, find a way to get the goods to market. Isn't that we right, Kevin? It. We got it. Kevin knows his economics. Guess so on. we're gonna need a super rocket to do that. 
I don't even think that you need me here for this, to be honest, because everything you're saying doesn't make any sense. It it's gonna get crazier sense. though. It's gonna get crazy. It is. So now you, our, you sound like an insane person. Right so now, now our soup factory has a way to get the soup to market. Okay. But we don't have the necessary ingredients, and we also have a broken quarter that we need to fix. Okay, so we can't we can't make the soup, and we can't deliver the soup to the delivery mechanism. Exactly, because we need to fix the quarter first. Okay, let's fix. So it. we're gonna spend fifty more of the currency we found in the green lush ground that we use our buzz saw. Right. And we're gonna press X uh, where it's where it's appropriate. Now it says release, ro rotate the corridor with L1 and R1. So we're rotating it there, right. and we're pressing X, and this is gonna build itself. Okay, now that's so there, now our corridor is fixed. The soup machine is working. Now we need ingredients. Okay. Okay. okay and so we're gonna need to some blue cap mushrooms, Nick. So we're gonna go down here. Oh. We're gonna climb. Okay. We're gonna fall. How do we're we know where the mushrooms things. are? Because oh, it was pointing me down there. So right, right here, we're, we're good. So we're gonna use the buzz saw to kind of get them, and then we're gonna pick one up with the circle button. We're gonna bring the blue cap mushroom back up to the soup machine. Now, speaking of mushrooms, mm -hmm. uh -oh. is this something that you think the developers of this game did a lot of while making this game? Yes. Okay. I do. If you've ever played a pixel junk game, you know that they're basically drug trips. Okay. And that's the beauty of it. And I think Greg would agree that Greg's the, huge into drugs. Greg's Greg. huge into drugs, and he's also huge into pixel junk games. Yeah. Just like me. So we're gonna go to here, and we're gonna insert the the, the mushroom. But of course. Nick, we need more than one ingredient. Yeah, you can't just have mushroom soup. That's gross. The, to make creamed corn bug soup, we're gonna need tomatoes. Oh, creamed corn bug soup is my favorite. So it shows you where the tomatoes are. Right, and I think we're, they're showing us just for the sake of this tutorial that I'm right. But through. but the next level, we have to go out and look for these things on our own. Right. So let's let's try to get through this tutorial level. I just figured this would be the most effective way to explain to you a rather confusing game, and not only you, Nick, but also. Our audience, the dozens at of home. people that are watching this the dozens still, of people, exactly, who hung in there to see if this game. We have any we have a pretty good ha like people hang around and watch these videos. I think no, mostly because no, no, no. I know that we have a great hang time. We have some of the best best friends on the planet and that watches this. This particular one though, I would have to imagine a lot of people are watching and just going, huh, just huh. I think you're I think you're overselling that in the sense that I think a lot of our audience is plenty familiar with what Pixel Drive. You think is. so? Yes. I think there's. A would you think so, Greg? Yeah. I think maybe there's one or two people out there that are maybe on something right now that are watching this content and they're having a hell of a time. Hell of a time with it. So Oh, you found the tomatoes. Oh, I got a real I got a real name request up there. So I gotta kill these guys and eventually I'm using my buzzsaw, they take quite a bit of damage. But now they're dead, and now I can pick one up. And I have I have what I need. Get out of there before they turn nasty. Bring that tomato steak back to the factory with you. I'm trying, but this guy thing. is on my asshole. This guy is inside you. He's so up on you. I know, my God. He is inside me. All right, let's... Get out of there. Oh, Get out of there, I'm, I'm trying my hardest here. So we're going to bring the second in essential ingredient back to our soup factory, Nick. Okay. And I'm swimming, and I'm swimming, and I'm going hard, as fast man. as I can. For a guy that's kind of... has an obtuse body, you really know how to move in the water. You know so, I mean? this is the important thing. This is the important thing now, Nick. This yeah. is where the game gets a little weird, because okay. the game's not weird yet, okay? We're making soup on alien planets and we're sending soup into space to sell sure. it. But what we have to keep in mind is the economics of the soup, and specifically that we have competitors. And our competitors, our soup competitors on this stage are GSA training, of course, and they're not very good. And you can see in the corner, our market share is going up. Yeah, we're getting- 64%, go 65%, on and on and on. We're crushing so, it. And we haven't even sent anything to market yet, which is incredible. People are anticipating this soup. I was gonna say, it's not even, it's not even fair. So we're gonna insert this, and now we have made to mushroom soup. Okay, it's we have made, made to mushroom, mushroom soup. soup. Now the soup machine will turn those two ingredients into a delicious can, as you're gonna see here. Okay. And then what we're gonna do uh, is uh, we're gonna pick up the can, and then we're gonna bring it to our rocket, and we're gonna put it in, and we're gonna deliver the the, spa the soup to market now. And the soup has been sent. All right. But the stage isn't over yet. No, of course, no. Why would it be? It shouldn't be. It really should. It doesn't deserve to be just yet. Just yet. But the factory's working like very smoothly right now, and you can see the f it's slowly getting to market up there on the top. Oh, cool. And then it's been delivered. We got delivered. And the aliens, as you can see, they're thrilled. Crush it, let's throw The aliens party. are thrilled. Look at them, they're, eat they're eating the shit out of that soup. And as businessmen ourselves, we understand the elation of getting something to market. We do. We? we push a lot of stuff out to market, like this Let's Play. And it will be consumed by big aliens. But here's the problem. People are jealous of our ability to ship soup to market. They want, they and now we they. need to defend the soup. They're talking okay? shit. 
So they got to get shot. Exactly. That's exactly right. So we're going to go up here and we're going to press triangle again and we're going to need to build things. We're going to need to build a shot tower. This will incre increase our defenses. Good. Yeah, I was thinking that same thing. Shotgun tower. Shotgun to the dick. So now we have three of them here. The training group is sending some invaders our way. Look at the skies and get ready to defend the factory. All right. Well, that's not good. Generally, when a giant ribbon of red comes across the screen, it says danger in no Spanish good. with the exclamation marks on both sides. We got to do what's up. Oh, God. Whoa, who's that guy? So let's see what happens here. That's our. Man. I think that's our thing coming that's back. Thing so we can. Back, oh people, dear. Oh man. Oh dear. People are coming out. So now our defenses hard. are, and we're we're of course limited by the amount of bullets we have as well. This this gun here on the right is kind of getting a lot of work. But we're trying to just defend ourselves, and you can see the aliens are coming on droves. They want this soup factory really bad, Nick. Yeah, it's naturally because we're the best. We're like the. I can't think of a soup. No, you can't think of any right no, now. No. But Campbell's. Campbell's. We're like the Campbell's. Progresso. Of the galaxy. We are progresso. I'll take that instead of that. Get this guy. Punch What's him right doing? in his fucking face. Punch his little yellow face. Punch him right in his dick. His Bart Simpson haircut. So the aliens have been destroyed. We killed him. And Astro Worker, our character, really proved himself. Yeah. So let's Good see if job, we have Astro any other Worker. instructions. We've almost hit 100% market share. Soon there will be no stopping us. We have 95% of the market right now. 96, 97, Except for in this particular market. We get it. We did it. It's okay for our enemies to physically attack us, which in other markets probably not so much. So now it's time for us to leave this planet yes. and go make soup in other places. Yes. Should we go to one more planet and try again without the help of the game? Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's do it one more time. Industrial strength. Advanced training facility for soup production administrators. All personnel are responsible for their own continued existence. Got so it. a little bit of humor there, a little bit of humor. Yeah. So let's go down to the planet, Nick, and see what it is all about. Swim to shore and head inland to the training facility. I will. What do you think of the graphics? I like it. It's a cool game. It's, it's you a like the trippy. idea? I like the idea. I feel like it would, this would be eat up a lot of my time. Because I'm that weird kind of guy who's like, I need to farm all that green stuff right there. Like, there would be no nothing left on this if it were me. So you'd be doing a little bit of this, yeah. collecting yourself some items and Like, whatnot. literally in Mass Effect 2, all I did was I just scanned the planets. I loved doing that. I loved reading about the planets. Scan the planets, man. I loved it. And then when there was something, I'm like, you know, I don't even need to go down there. I'm just going to keep scanning you, you beautiful son of a bitch. You suck. You gorgeous planet. All right, so we're trying to get over here. This is where it's telling us to be. Okay. And once we're here, it's saying, about time, just ahead is the purpose-built soup training facility. I call it the pressure cooker. Here you'll get a taste of real factory life. Maintenance, robot automation, and most importantly, gaining market share. Use your first day and look around and inspect the training facility. There's a few errands to run, so follow those marker hours and get to work. Okay. Now, are these guys going to get killed right now? I don't know. I think they're my friends. Oh, good. They're pick my them up, friends. Pick one up, put them in the machine. Okay, come here, little guy. We're going to put you in the machine and make soup out of your face. Repairing damaged parts of your factory, especially the office, is extremely important. Okay. If the office gets destroyed, the factory is useless, so repair quickly before we are attacked. Oh, man, this is giving me anxiety. I know. It is a little anxiety-inducing, isn't it? Oh, I just lost my wedding ring. It's not a big deal. I'll get another one. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the shoot machines require ingredients. Are you going to pick up your ring? I got it. I guess you probably can get it. Yeah, there's a true story. Earlier, I tried to eat one of Greg's lar bars. It's these little like fancy health bars that he eats because he quit Team Fat a long time ago, and he uh, he gave me shit for it. Mm. So I'm a little hungry right now. Understood. He said you can have one. He's like, I got the really expensive healthy ones because I'm trying to lose weight. Yeah, I know. Greg anymore. is trying. To, yeah, I know. So are these little rocket ships all yours? Presumably everything's peaceful right now. These are my. This is the way I'm going to get things to to, to market. And okay. I, presumably on this stage, I don't think we'll get all the way through it, but. We're going to have more cans to send, so we're going to need more than one rocket. So we have three this time around. But there's a lot of things that we need to do. So this rocket below needs a clear path to take off. Press circle to learn how. Okay. So who, it seems nonlinear. Who built this? That's a good facility question. Facility with an overhang over a rocket. Yeah, it doesn't really make any sense. It's stupid. Yeah, he says, what on earth is this quarter piece doing above a soup rocket? It can't take off to deliver our soup. Stupidest thing ever Remove heard. this quarter at once to give the soup rocket a clear now, path. Now, am I tripping out or is the cassette tape robot have a mustache uh i think he might have a mustache okay. i'm gonna have to get a closer look at him let's okay. let's go back down here and just see what happens it looks like he has like a beard and a mustache yeah. and a little bit of a weird kind of line eye kind of thing going on it's like just yeah. a one line he's high out of his mind right now look at him oscar that's what he's doing greg look he's doing the oscar, oscar! Hey, he's doing it so i mean that's that's basically Nom Nom Galaxy. Got it. And I wanted to introduce 
the game to everyone because there's a, people have a really soft spot for pixel junk in, mm -hmm. the, in their hearts, and we haven't really had many new pixel junk games. I think, I think the last like new pixel junk game that wasn't a port or a, like an, an HD re-release was 4 AM, which was not a very good game. Um, and so it's cool to get a pixel junk game that's more in line with the quirkiness that they're so well known for at Q Games, and obviously Double Eleven helping out. Um, so the game's available on PlayStation 4 right now. Uh, these games have been coming to PC, and I'm not sure what the plan is for bringing this game to other consoles, but right now you can get it on PlayStation 4, and it's it's quirky, and it's weird, and it's bizarre, and I'm surprised Sony didn't talk about it more. I'm a little disappointed that they didn't, actually. They kind of just shit it out. Really? Um, which is unusual, because they usually don't do that with Pixel Junk games. Um, so just taking a different tack. But I wanted to introduce everyone, and I thought maybe, unlike Pixel Junk Shooter or Pixel Junk Side Scroller or whatever that are a little easier to understand, this game is a little more complicated, and so I thought... Playing the tutorial made maybe the most sense. No, this is cool. Thank you for the education, as always. It's fascinating to see a little glimpse into your world. This is how you spend your time. This is basically, not only is this a glimpse into my gaming world, this is basically what my and world is like. This is your psyche right here. This is what the, your brain looks mm -hmm. like. It's always just trim through the green, get the jewels. Indeed. Trim through the green, get the jewels. So check it out if you want. It's Pixel Junk Nom Nom Galaxy PlayStation 4. Let us know what you think. Thanks You're for tuning in. It wrong. We appreciate it. So very much that you're here with it's us, and we hope you enjoy nom it. Nom nom. Nom nom, Galaxy. Nom nom. I'll tell you the nom nom. Pixel Drunk Nom Nom Galaxy by Double Eleven and Q Games. Enjoy. Let us know what you think. And of course, come back to Kind of Funny Games for more Let's Plays every day, every weekday at noon. Bye. Bye.